farm and ranch news, market reports, and more, this is KLBK's Ag Journal, sponsored by Wiley Implement and Spray Center. The heat and drought is tough on the agriculture industry, whether it's crops or animals. Another two or three weeks, if it don't let up or rain or something, it's going to be burned up bad. Cattle rancher Bo Scavlage says the lack of moisture and brutal heat is causing grazing fields to become extremely dry. And hay is also getting hard to come by. Ranchers are selling cattle early because there's not enough grass or hay to feed the animals. And now there's concerns for how the drought and heat will affect our cattle industry. We're seeing a lot more of the butcher cows and bulls, but people are kind of cleaning up the problems and what they don't want, not the whole herd. Um, but I do fear in 30 days that something doesn't change, we're going to have a lot of uh, whole herd dispersals. Well, everybody's selling cows and it's, it's just, it's, it's going to get bad, I think, you know, it's, it ain't good. And many of the ranchers say they're also having trouble transporting cattle because of the heat. Getting up as early as we can, we'll start at, you know, 4, 30, 5 o'clock try to get everything gathered in, make sure they have enough water. Water's a big deal. Try to not leave them on the trailer as long, short as possible. And if ranchers start selling a whole herd of cattle, what about the price of beef? It's kind of amazing as big as the industry is though, but it's pretty hand to mouth. The capacity to harvest those animals is just X amount. And so when you start having more than we can handle, of course the price drops, you know, in order to make other arrangements to feed them until they can harvest them. You know, it's not good. Long term, it's good. You know, there'll be less cattle around and the market will be good for the people that can hold on. Here's today's Ag Journal weather sponsored by Lubbock Electric.